It's not just about building a robot. It's about building your character. High school student Emily King is a part of the Nerdettes, along with Ellen Vegarita, Sydney McMurray, Haley Holsenback, Lily Sullivan, and Megan Quinn. And so we have our arm that we can go up and down and grab cones with. Forming an all-girls robotics team in Huntsville, Alabama. This squad bonded because of Emily, who started robotics 10 years ago. I really didn't like it at first because that I was on a co-ed team and the boys didn't want the girls doing robotics. They wanted them doing posters and I wasn't interested in that. So that's when we went to an all-girls team throughout my Girl Scout troop and it's just grown since then. How did it change once you created this all-girl team? But what mostly changed is that there's no judgment in an all-girls team. Like, there's nobody thinking that the girls can't do what somebody else can do because we're all girls. We all know that we have the same capabilities and that we can all do the same jobs. Such an important message to get out there. Some of our brains are really good at math and science and robotics, and it doesn't matter if you're a girl or a boy. Is that kind of the message? It's not that girls are better at robotics than boys, and it's not that boys are better at robotics than girls. It's that we can all do the same things, and I don't think that's always seen that way. The Nerdettes are part of the FIRST Robotics Program, which stands for For Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. It's a nonprofit organization geared for all young learners from pre-K through 12th grade. Currently, there are more than 500,000 students across 98 countries who compete at different levels with robots they've built and programmed. And last year, the Nerdettes' determination took them all the way to the world championship in their league, proving that girls want to have fun in robotics. I think it just brings a shock to all the other teams when we do robotics. They don't make it as fun as it could be. You know, we go in there, we go in there with our colors and our music and the pink and we're all girls and we're fun and we're loud. And I just think that that's different out there. I'm going to start in three, two, one. Besides technical and programming skills, the girls have learned more about themselves throughout the process and built up their own sisterhood. Made such great friends that I'll probably be friends with for a very long time. <laughs> what have you learned about yourself as, as you compete in these competitions? From, this, from these competitions, I've definitely been able to voice myself a lot better. I used to be like very, very shy. And so I learned confidence and I learned just to have enthusiasm for all of it. I love getting out there and getting to talk to businesses and companies and like talking about my team. Before robotics, like there's no way that I would have gotten up and talked to the people that I do now. Presenting ourselves and I've learned that that's something that I really like to do. And they're even sharing their spark for STEM with younger students too, who call themselves the Gear Girls. We like to think of the whole team as like our younger sisters and we like to help them out and just get them started in STEM and hopefully encourage them to go down the path of STEM. <laughs> and why do you think it's important to, you know, be an example for, for younger girls? I think we just want to encourage that out there more. If you don't hear about girls in robotics, there's nothing wrong with being in a STEM field. It can still be girly. Yeah. It can be girly, and I love that they're being such a great example yeah. for the yep. younger generation and kind of bringing them into it. Uh, get this, the Nerdettes just took home first place at a scrimmage in Tennessee over oh, the weekend. Gosh. They, of course, have their eyes on going back to Worlds. And next week, they are actually going to be speaking at the National Space Club Breakfast to a large group of rocket scientists and space lovers. They're constantly speaking at various events like these and recruiting mentors and fundraising. They really put in That's a lot of cool. effort. But it's like I remember, you know, just anytime you're on the bus, yeah. whether it's for sports or whatever you're going to, like that that meant that just bonding you have yeah, on the yeah. bus and that sisterhood and is just so special. Cool. That's awesome. It really yeah. is. And you're a product of a STEM education. I am. These are your people. They are yeah. my people. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.